I am one of the co-founders of the Reconvert Upsell app on Shopify. I don't know if you are an existing Reconvert customer or if you got to this webinar in a different way. Feel free to use the chat to let me know. Are you using any kind of Upsell app? Are you using Shopify already or is it something you're still getting into? And if you want to, what your Shopify plan is. So what is sections everywhere, extensions everywhere? It's not really that new in Shopify. It's something that, it's a concept that exists for, I think, at least, few months if not a year and it's basically something that allows you to add to anywhere in your store different app blocks from different apps that you have in your store it exists already in any theme page that you have in your store for a while what is the new thing here what changes shopify are now opening this app on the thank you page and order status page meaning the post purchase pages if you've tried in the past you know there is no easy way on shopify to edit your post purchase pages this is the initial reason reconvert existed we wanted to give people tools to edit their thank you page and it wasn't optional it wasn't available so we had to do a lot of back twisting to really get the elements that we want to add onto the store the good news are that now shopify are allowing any app to add elements to the uh, post purchase pages in a more native way that it's going to work more smoothly and be more comfortable for you as the merchants, which is the most important thing. If you are on Shopify Plus, you already have this available. All you have to do is upgrade your thank you page and order status. I will show you how it's done. If you are not on Shopify Plus, according to Shopify, these new pages were supposed to be released to everyone else on the 1st of April. Might have been an April's full days joke, but I haven't really heard any news about this being generally released yet. So I don't know if either they are releasing it incrementally, and some of you might already have it in your store, some of you might not, or they are getting some delays and will release it soon. So we were contemplating moving this webinar around to wait until this is actually officially released by Shopify, but I still think there is value in seeing what you will be able to do really soon, and it's really not that complex. So Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to use these sections everywhere, specifically for the post purchase pages, for the thank you page and order status page. Let me share my screen really quickly. Before I do, one thing is you should know is that any app that you have that works on the post purchase pages, if you have an order tracking app, a review collector on your thank you page or on your order status page, I would reach out to them and make sure that they are updating themselves to Shopify's new thank you page and uh, order status status page. Otherwise, they will stop being supported. Any app that currently works on the thank you page will not be supported in the new version. So this is something very important you should know. I do believe that most app developers are doing their due diligence and actually working on supporting that. And you will have about a year from what I understand to really get everything converted. So there's no rush, but that's something you should be aware of. Now I'm going to share my screen. Okay. So you can see my screen, I hope. Let me know if not. Ali, if uh, people are say, oh yeah, if people are saying that they can't see my screen, please send me a message, but hopefully you all can. So to get started, just to kind of understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about sections everywhere, in case you haven't used that yet, this is the Shopify theme builder. And in the homepage, for example, I can add a block and I can add an app block. Now in this specific location, I don't have any apps that have supported blocks, but if I go here, for example, here it is. So we have sections by Shopify and then we have app sections. I can choose my app section and add it anywhere in the page and then edit it inside the Shopify page builder. I don't have to use any external page builder. I use whatever I'm already familiar with. That's amazing, but this is only for your theme pages up until now. Now let's talk about the new updates with the Shopify thank you page and order status page. I'm going to leave this. And here I am in reconvert. I am inside the app. Let me show you. This is the new version of the app. Let's ignore the, the current dashboard for now because it's not going to be relevant in the new version. Whatever you are using the app already and you need to kind of convert your thank you pages, or if you are completely new, you will need to do a similar type of setup. The way that it works, and if you are using the reconvert checkout extensions already as Shopify Plus merchants, some of it will be familiar to you. We have a new page called the flow builder now it you can ignore this. This is kind of an onboarding page that is going to look a little different depending on your specific case. I'm just using it to get to all the pages that I want to show you. So if I go to the flow builder, this is the flow builder. Here we are 
building a flow of the different pages in our uh, store where we can add different upsells, cross sells, and in the future, more and more widgets by reconvert. You can see here, we have some pages. We have the checkout again, only if you own Shopify plus, we have the post purchase first and second are not really relevant to this webinar. It's just a one click upsell post purchase, which exists right now in reconvert. It's changing location and design. And then we have the thank you page and the order status page. These are the pages I'm going to focus on right now. In the end, if there are Shopify plus, here who want to talk about the checkout, let me know. So the way that it works, we now have to create sections that we can add in to the Shopify builder, the Shopify page builder. We call these sections just to uh, help you group them together. We call them slots. So each slot represents a location in your page in Shopify. All I have to do is create my first slot. You can see here, I'm on the thank you page. We have conditions, which again, I'm not gonna talk about doing this webinar unless you want me to, but you can create different conditions and assign slots to these conditions. I'm gonna create a slot and this will automatically take me to the reconvert editor. This should be familiar to you if you're using the app because it's very similar to the existing editor that we have with improved functionality and design. What we are editing here is a widget, and this is a simple product upsell widget. We have the option to select which product will be shown. Right here, it's on Shopify recommendations, but you can also do something static. Let's say I want to take the most expensive product that the customer just purchased. I'm going to save this, and of course, you can play around with everything. Uh, everything is movable, and hold on, everything is movable, and deletable and hideable, etc. Now I can add a new widget. We have a top level product upsell here. I can add another widget below it, or I can add a new widget outside of it, which is just going to be in the same slot. Let's say I want to add a banner and the title of this banner is just going to be by this now. That's not pushy at all, of course. And I'm going to move the banner to be on top of the whole thing. Uh, maybe below the... Yeah, I don't actually need this divider. Let's just delete it. Okay, so this is going to be my widget on slot one. Now, going back to the flow builder, you can see that I already have a slot created here. If I click this slot, I will be able to see here to the side its analytics, which don't exist yet because I just created it, but this will be filled out soon enough. I can disable and enable this slot for this specific condition. The slot number is one. We currently have the option to create up to 10 slots in each condition in each page. So for the thank you page, I can create up to 10 slots to be shown simultaneously. Now these slots, like I said in the beginning, represent a location on the page, which is why I need to remember the number. Okay, the number is how I determine its location and I'll show it to you in a second. But we also have the option of changing its name. This name is internal. You will see it in your dashboard analytics later on. So I can say something like first product upsell, or maybe you put it in a specific location on the page. The name is a good time, a good place to specify the location. I can create another slot. Let's do that really quickly. And I can, of course, delete all of this if I wanted to. Yeah, in this case, let's just remove the variant picker and the quantity selector and just let them choose whatever. I'm going to remove it this way. Cool. So we have this. Let's go back. You can see that we have slot two. So this is for the thank you page. Before moving to placing this on the Shopify editor, I just want to show you doing the same thing on the order status page. So if I go to the order status page and there didn't really used to be a difference on Shopify. So this is a new concept where they are separating the thank you page and the order status page. The thank you page is what customer sees after making a purchase, directly after making a purchase. The order status page is what they will see if they get back to this page to check the order status from emails, from SMS, messages, however way they come back. So these pages are now very different than they used to be. And you can add separate upsells, cross sells elements to each of them. So you can see that it looks the same. It's because it really works the same. It's just a different page. You have up to 10 slots that you can create and then place as app blocks on the Shopify editor. Again, I'm not going to edit this too much just because we've already seen in general how to do that. If any of you will have questions later on, I will get back to this and show you. One thing I do want to say, you can see here that we 
have a very limited selection of widgets right now compared to the widgets that we have on the legacy app, on the current version of Reconvert. That is because in the new Shopify thank you page and on our status page, we do have to basically recreate each of these widgets. So just so we can support the new pages, we are going to release this version of the app with just a product upsell because we understand product upsell is one of the most important widgets that generates the most amount of revenue to customers. And then we are already working on adding all of our existing widgets and more. By the time Shopify officially releases the new thank you page, the new order status page, I hope you will have all of your favorite widgets here. And the nice thing is we are improving them. Every widget that we're putting in the new version, we're improving. You know, you can look forward to having all of your favorite widgets available here plus some. Just wanted to say that I would fully understand if you wanted to make this switch but wanted to wait a little bit. We will be releasing an update every time a new widget is released. So that being said, I finished creating all of my slots. Now let's go to the thank you page on Shopify and actually add these slots. So we have a direct link here for your convenience. If you click it, we are in the Shopify profiles editor, I suppose. I'm not sure what they're calling this page. It looks a lot like the theme builder, but it's different. And this allows you to edit pages that are related to the checkout and the customer accounts pages. So you can see I have on the thank you page and order status page inactive. What does that mean? It means that I haven't yet activated the new pages. So right now, if I add any app block here, it's not going to show up because I'm still using the old pages. What I have to do is just activate them and it's as easy as clicking this and that's it. I have activated the new thank you page and new order status page. Again, I want to say if you activate this, it means that from now on, all of the elements that you had in your old thank you page are no longer working. So pay attention and only activate after you actually made the switch and added all of your widgets, either from Reconvert or other apps, but you can always revert back. I'll show you how to do that after we add some of the widgets. So don't worry. I mean, not always, but for now you can revert back until Shopify decides that it's not supported anymore. So I'm here in the editor. All I have to do is add an app block. I'm going to add, remember we talked about the numbers being important. So we have slot one and slot two. These are the two that we created for the thank you page. I'm going to add this one and it puts it just in a, in a random location. Let's put it here. It is supposed to show up on the editor, but I'm sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. I think maybe it's something that Shopify is still working on, but it does show up on the actual page. So we have slot one and slot two. And now that I've added them to these locations, whatever I put in them is going to show up in these locations. Okay. So maybe I have conditions, maybe in one condition, I want to show here under the order status, I want to show an upsell. And if someone is, I don't know, buying for the second time the same week, instead of an upsell, I want to show them just a thank you note. Whatever your case is, the way to handle this is through the conditions. So through conditions, you can show something completely different in each slot. But the slot location is fixed. Once you put it on Shopify, on the Shopify editor, of course, you can move it around at any time. But if you move it around, it's going to move around anything that was ever added to the thank you page slot one. I hope that's clear. Let me know if it's not in the questions. I'm getting to them really soon. And then in the order status, I want to do the same thing and add. In this case, we have one slot. So I'm going to just add my one slot. And I put it in the same place, really. You can see that it looks different. The order status page looks different than it used to. It used to look exactly like the thank you page. So now I've added this. And of course, if I had more apps, I don't, I only have uh, reconvert that works on these pages on this specific store. But if I had more apps that work on this store, I could add them. So I could add a reconvert upsell on one location and then an order tracking page on order tracking widget on another location. So that's the great thing about it. Now all of the apps that you use on the thank you page or order status page are going to be able to work seamlessly, which is why I really like this update by Shopify, even if it does require us to do some extra work to adjust the widgets. One last thing, I'm only talking about thank you page and order status because again, check out only for Shopify Plus. These pages are also available for reconvert if you're on Shopify Plus. And we are planning on adding orders and profiles as well. It's going to be supported pretty soon. So that's it. Now that I've added everything, everything. What I need to do, I'm just going to close this. What I need to do, I've already placed 
my widgets, which is the second step here, is basically activate for this account the new reconvert. And again, if you install reconvert from scratch and this is already out, then your steps are going to look a little different, but we will have onboarding taking you through it. So I'm just going to activate and uh, activate it. Awesome. So the dashboard right now is blank. You will see here a blank dashboard and not this page. It's something we're still working on. Let's go ahead and place an order and see the widgets. Okay. So obviously this is a fake store and a fake credit card. So I don't mind you guys seeing my credit card details here. So this is my thank you page. And you can see the two elements that I added. I have one right up here where I can just click add and add this. This is the widget where we removed the quantity, I think. Yeah, the quantity and the variant. And then we have this one where I didn't remove anything, but there's no variants. So I can click add here if I wanted to. And if I do, well, this is long story, but basically what it does is create a new order because you're on the thank you page. We don't have a way to recharge on the same order or we do. Again, it's a little outside the scope of this webinar. You can either create a new order or add to the existing order. I didn't really change the settings here. So it's automatically creating a new order. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask. The point is that um, I'm on the thank you page. And instead of just finishing the order, I have some elements here that are encouraging me to buy again. Now I'm just going to refresh and see if it takes me to the order status page automatically. Yes, it does. And this is the order status page. Look at this. This is the widget that we've added to the order status page. It's right here and I can just edit in a few clicks. So this is how it works. I know these are not the most bold widgets. We can talk about doing some things to make them more clear. For example, for a thank you page, I would recommend making the button primary because this is not the middle of checkout. On checkout, you want the buttons to be secondary so you don't disturb your customers. Thank you page. I don't mind them being, you know, primary. So they're a little more bold. There's a lot of other things you can do. Like I said, we are adding more and more widgets. So you will be able to add more widgets to your different pages. You don't want to add 10 slots of just upselling. That's annoying as a customer. 